Pick your Afro Daddy Because it's flat on one side You need to pick your Afro Daddy Because it's flat on one side What are you waiting on? Dun dun Hey y'all, so clearly I'm at the University of Memphis at this current moment, waiting on the elevator. I'm trying not to be too loud because there's something going on over here to my all oh, left, and I want to be all oh, yes. I should have took the steps. D disregard this right here. I'm doing a wig review on this, so stay tuned for that. But. Back up to two, right? Three. You're making a video for that. Anyways, you know, the, the colorless people was all in my business. But um, I'm on camp. Is your girl on camp? Is the one y'all seen over here? So, um, there's a tea time event tonight. I'm going to record that. The Dales is having an event downstairs. You know, if you want to hop on that train, you might as well go, go to that little event. But, at the current moment, I'm gonna go to the Tech Hub and see if I can work on this little website. Like I said, it's a weird review coming soon on this hair. I mean, it's popping for the most part, but y'all know how synthetic hair get when, you know, it's too long or whatever it is. But I'm about to go into the Tech Hub and work on this website. And after that, well, it's not after that because it's not like when it's done. This is a mess. So, um, after that, well, when I put a pause on that, then we're going to go downstairs to the tea time event. And it's about She's Gotta Have It. Y'all know that's a Netflix show. I ain't seen it. I saw it when it first. It came out around Thanksgiving. I saw it, like, last month. I think it was December. So I saw it almost when it first came out. But anyways, it's a discussion about that. If y'all haven't watched it, I suggest that y'all watch it. It's lit. I mean, it's not lit, but it's not bad at the same time. So, you know, do it for the culture. But I'll see y'all when I leave the tech hub because I'm going to go in here and cause some commotion, basically. Hey, y'all. So I just left out of the tech hub. And I look down, okay, I'm gonna get on the elevator. But I look downstairs, and now they have food at the little event down here. So I'm trying to figure out what type of event they got going on and see if I can finesse a plate, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, your girl a little hungry. So uh, it's some cheese and crackers and you know, water and things of that nature so you know that's what's popping so if i can finesse a plate y'all know i'm gonna let y'all know if not i'm gonna let y'all know that too but yeah that's what's going on a little bit i know i don't like no dead crowd if you've been here before um so welcome to tea time with tori uh, my name is tori thompson i am your host for this evening um if you don't know me i'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about who i am so you know things that we're gonna do and a list of things that we're not gonna do so what we will do is be open-minded we'll be respectful we will be honest and transparent and most importantly we'll be real with ourselves keep in mind that this is a panel discussion um so and you are in front of your peers a few people that are a little bit older than you so be real you know be honest you want to keep it real with everybody a couple things that we won't do <clears throat> we won't talk over anybody i don't we don't mm -mm. everybody got an opinion i want everybody to be able to express that and have people listen to that um, we won't be judgmental, we won't be disrespectful, and we won't be a no kind of free game. So if you have, you know, whoever wants to go first can go first. And if you're in the audience, and again, if you have a thought or comment, feel free to come up. Um, grab a mic. You can move that mic stand too, actually. Your thoughts about the show? <laughs> My first thought was that she was on the thought, thought side until... I really watched it and like understood why she did certain things. So that was my initial thought. I was super excited. 
I, uh, I saw She's Gotta Have the uh, Spike Lee's original film. We were actually very excited together. Um, we were educated on the film that he had previously, so I was very excited to see the modern like outlook of She's Gotta Have It, and I think it was great. Uh, I didn't even watch the trailer. I, I heard Spike Lee's name, and I instantly was like, I'm on it, because i uh, huge fan of school days. Everything Spike Lee really does is up there. I get it. I ain't see the trailer either, but like, I heard Spike Lee, so like, whenever you hear Spike Lee, it's like, dang, Jay Z's finna drop an album, so you can like, dang, let me go check it out, you know? You know, so that's how I feel about it. Okay, so for those that did see the trailer, um, did you think that when you saw it that the show would be problematic at all? Most definitely. I mean, people feel some type of way about women dating and then on top of that having sex with three different men at the same time being open about it. Um, well, of course that it was going to cause some type of stir up. It's a very taboo. So, so everybody's familiar with Kat Collin, right? Um, so for the women on the panel, it, well, for the men too, because I'm sure y'all have done your, your fair share of Kat Collin as well. Yeah, don't get offended, Debbie. We talking about you. Um, so, what are your thoughts on this scene? Did it really did it feel familiar at all? Hell yeah! What? I'm sorry, y'all, but hell yeah! All the time, baby girl, this a uh, sweetheart that look. My name ain't baby girl. I got a name. You could ask for it first. You know, let's start there. Excuse me, you know, red shirt, purple hat. What? What? It's, it felt so familiar, and I thought that was hilarious because I like the way they put all the different forms of cat calls, and also with women, because you know, women be trying to get down too. And I just thought it was just hilarious. It's just my thing. I'll be quick, I'll be quick. Um, yeah, I think it's unnecessary flattery, like. Saying all of that, like, girl, you look like Jesus did your taxes. Like, first of all, they didn't even have taxes. Jesus was here. So I just think it's ungenuine, like, in this your way of trying to pull me in. But I feel like if you want to pull me in, do it with, you know, real intentions. Don't just, you know, tell me I'm pretty or tell me this and that. Like, okay, I know that. So what's next? <clears throat> so basically, in this scene, she chilling with one boo, but answered the phone with the other. So... Have you ever did that? Like, have you ever answered the phone for one boo while hanging with your other one? And what did that look like? Who got the mic? Oh. Uh, oh, no, no, not me. I'm just sitting here looking at them and saying, yeah, we're going to hold. It was just bad. That scene was... Thank you. I'm going to start off when you know your place, okay? Don't be mad when she's being honest. If, you, if you're being honest and upfront about what is going on, know your place and sit in it, okay? I'm not going to lie. Thank you. I'll say, all right? I'm not going to lie. I got my bae, but, you know, I have dudes that are friends. We might kick it. If you got feelings for me, that's your issue. But we got a friendship. I respect that they respect that. However, I'm not about to make you feel good or make your ego feel good if I don't answer my man's phone call while I'm next to you. You're still nobody at the end. Well, not nobody. Excuse that. Not nobody. But, you know, not my man. You know what I'm saying? We set a position for you and you play your position well. Thank you. Yes, girl. Yes. Okay. I agree. Okay, I think that, you know, like Arlene said, know your place, stay in your lane. I feel like at the end of the day, when you're honest, like Arlene said, and you know that somebody talks to other people or that you're not exclusive, I think that it's okay to answer the phone. And if we answer the phone with me there, I think that's okay too, Hella. I know my place. I know what's up. Uh, again, my name is Octavia. Um, just to address the question real quick, I think that that was completely rude what she did. Um, I think that even with like a friend, like for example, if I was talking to my friend JB, who's a female, um, it's totally platonic, right? Um, and we dedicated some time to, I guess, maybe go to brunch or something like that. Maybe I haven't seen her in a while. Whatever the case may be, I dedicated that time to her. And for someone to call my phone and we to turn over or do just 
you know, completely take the attention off of her and talk to someone else that's completely rude. Uh, so it's not really an issue of knowing your place. It's like knowing rules of engagement with people, social interactions, how to make people feel kind of thing. So, yeah. I like that. I like that answer. I didn't look at it from that perspective. I was thinking you yeah, should have said it I, I, ain't, I ain't see it that way either. It's saying to me like, he was just the side nigga who just got, he got a little happy. You just got a little happy for real, bro. Like, come on, bro. You came into her birthday, did all this fancy stuff and all that. Then you was, you know what's going on. She told you what's going on. Then when another dude call up and stuff like that, you get in your feelings. I, I understand it, but big brother, like, you, you decided to play this game, bro. Like, it's, it's on you, nigga. <laughs> Pretty much. Bro, they be talking about, like, someone sauce, so, man. This girl easy, this girl like, oh, something like that. But well, big brother, you, you fucking with her. So, like... What that make you like, man? Like, I'm just being 100. Like, can't be no double standards, man. You a hypocrite. If you a hypocrite, bro, you really a sorry ass nigga. To be honest. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> it's funny because I tweeted this. I think it was yesterday. I asked, "What is a hoe? Like, what defines somebody as a hoe?" And the first thing that somebody said was, "When a woman sleeps." with multiple men or multiple people, it's never when a man does anything, he's considered a hoe. And it's like, okay, the real tea is that he was gonna fuck anyways. Like, it doesn't matter whether she was sleeping with five, six, seven men, he still was going to sleep with her anyway. When I was in the fifth grade, however old you are then, I was walking home from school and I noticed a couple of guys in a van from the schoolyard and I kept seeing them and they kept making their rounds. And as I walked down towards my house from school, the kids start to disperse. I go more into my neighborhood and I noticed that they were like really plotting. And I told the crossing guard and she gave me her number and told me to call her when I got home. And when I made it to my curve and I, the last student whoever he was, my neighbor was walking past me, they hit that corner and I knew that they were coming for me. I walked past my house, once I saw them hit that corner, I ran back to my house and I called the uh, crossing guard, I called my mom. Uh, my mom, I have, a, I have a three year old baby sister, she'll be four in July. She is the product of sexual assault. Um, I thank God every day for my sister, but at the same time, uh, Stuff like that, uh, I've been, I've been seeing in my whole life, and uh, to, to see it, to see it put in a perspective so that the world can see it, is, is really, really, is heavy, because now people who hadn't seen it can can now, uh, maybe, maybe, hopefully, get some understanding of what it is and and the the devastation it can cause. Uh, it's definitely something to see to see men and to see men and do do things like that is definitely devastating to to me personally and to the culture of men around us that don't have anything to do with it because it brings us down as a whole species a whole a whole gender you know hey y'all so I hope y'all enjoy the small clips that I provided from the she uh, tea time with tour for the she's got a heavy event if you all do want like my thoughts on it or for me to go more in depth of what went on or if you want if you just want more you get what i'm saying you can go to my website in the description box below and read my blog about it it's called she's gotta have it or does she really want it so Please go down and do that. It's probably a whole series of it. It's just a poll. Just read all of it. You know what I'm saying? It's all of it is good. So, and if y'all want me to do a video on it, comment in the comment section below if y'all want to hear my thoughts in a video or if y'all just want to read it, you know where to go. But I love y'all. My camera is dying. I will talk to y'all later. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It is cold out here and I'm shaking like a stripper. So, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. The train coming. Hold on, let me run across the train tracks right quick. Hold on.